Hi everyone, I'm Liz. I'm Supermajority's Director of Strategic Programs. In my free time, I really love to host ice cream parties for my friends. In this training, you're about to learn how to win campaigns by developing a goal, strategy, and tactics. If you've ever wondered about how to truly make a difference in your community, this training is for you. Goals and organizing need to be three things. They need to be realistic. Organizers need wins. We need that hope for our community. Second, they need to be measurable. We need to know if we're moving the needle on it and count it as a success or not. And finally, they need to address and solve a real challenge in the community. Let's go to an example. Today, I'm pleased to announce a framework that will create millions of jobs. In 2021, President Biden introduced the Build Back Better plan, which was support for many working families. I, for one, won't support a multi-trillion dollar bill. Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia held up the passage of that plan. So what did organizers in West Virginia decide to do? First, wins would be marked by the passage of the Build Back Better plan. Second, measurement would be by the amount of news coverage they got through their tactics that we'll cover in a second. And then finally, it solved a real challenge by ensuring West Virginians had a senator that they could rely on rather than a puppet in office. Once you have your goal, how do you achieve it? That's your strategy. Good strategies ask three questions. What institutions have the ability to enact the change that you're seeking? Second, who is the key decision maker that you need to target? And third, what messages will you use to motivate these decision makers to take action? So let's go back to our example. Organizers identified that the institution they needed to target was the Senate, and the person within the Senate that they needed to put pressure on was Senator Joe Manchin. They needed to expose him to pressure from voters about what it meant if he didn't pass this plan. Finally, the messages they would use would be personal stories to motivate Joe Manchin about what the passage of this would mean for them and their families. All right, let's close out with tactics. Tactics include news coverage, contacting your elected officials, social media campaigns. Honestly, the sky's the limit so long as they align to your goals. We are the people! Let's finish out our example of what happened in West Virginia. The organizers got kayakers to go to Joe Manchin's yacht. And while he hid in his yacht, to share stories of what the passage of this would mean for them. We want a home where we have health care and our businesses are supported. They recorded it the whole time to show that he was an out of touch person not listening to the demands of the constituents. What was the outcome of this? Not only did the Build Back Better plan ultimately pass, but there was widespread coverage of the action and Manchin is publicly viewed as one of the most out of touch Democrats in office and there is public accountability coming for him in 2024. So you just heard about a foundational practice in organizing, building a campaign around a goal, strategy, and tactics. At Supermajority, we organize around the majority rules. We think this would be a great place for you to start in your organizing. Head to our website for ideas on how to get started. And if you apply this training, we wanna know, let us know how it goes, and thank you for watching.